Tony, the first time the thought of marrying you crossed my mind it was not the first night we met or during a romantic date night. It was during an ER trip about six months after we started dating. You were so, so sick, and I was honestly really freaked out. It caught me by surprise how scared I was. Of course, we found a way to have fun that night. You continued to crack jokes even though you were miserable, and we snuggled in a little tiny hospital bed. It was that night that I realized that I never wanted to spend any of my days on this earth without you. Camping has been something that Emily and Tony have loved, and while camping, the fire, the hearth, has always stood as defense against the dark and the cold. It is a place of community and protection from isolation. Marriage, just like that fire, warms our soul, protects us from the darkness of our own doubts, melts the bars of those who may raise their voices against us, and provides us a place of nourishment, respite, and recovery. Till I caught a glimpse of your effortless smile Baby, it was the start of We're not life. supposed to catch Oh, okay. You look so beautiful. all seasons, every challenge, every joy, my love will be as steadfast, will be as steadfast and anything that may. As the earth cycles through its endless rhythms, so too will my love for you. So grow more profound with each shared sunrise and sunset. This is my solemn vow to you. I will love you forever, ever. <laughs> Now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, it's magic in the air. Coming home and waiting there. When I first met Lee, she said she had three requirements to go out. I was employed, I had hair, and I didn't live with my mother. Wow, what a high bar that was. Was that enough? I still wasn't sure about Tony. As I got to know Tony and I saw Emily was so happy, I could see how much he loved her, and he told me how much he loved her too. I saw Tony a lot working to be a great dad. i